proposed about uh, close to a year and a half ago uh, that we would grow some furniture for the UBC campus as a way to, to um, you know, try out what new design uses could we find that would capture people's, uh, people's imagination and also provide some useful seating on the UBC campus that would be an example of this kind of research coming out into the, into the public. We call these materials mycelium biocomposites. Mycelium is the root structure of mushrooms. Uh, and so what we're after uh, is a, a material that's, that's rigid, actually has a lot of the same characteristics as polystyrene. Only instead of using a chemical process to make it, we take sawdust, we inoculate it with mushroom spores and incubate it for about two weeks so that it grows all throughout all the kind of pore spaces of the sawdust. Then we run it through the chipper and then we mold it. And then it grows for about uh, four or five days in the molds and produce a kind of hard material that's, you know, has about the same characteristics as styrofoam. We're, we're limited to a size that's roughly about a half a meter in any direction. Um, by putting the hole in the center, we diminish the overall volume and so we can grow slightly larger shapes. But the other thing that we're doing in the furniture is that that becomes a place where if they do fruit, we expect that the fruit might occur in that void and that way it's contained under the, the acrylic uh, so people can see it, but they won't worry about getting it on their clothes. The strain we're growing with now is an oyster mushroom. Uh, it's the same one you can find in the supermarket. They're fast growing, they're durable and resilient. And so that made for a, plus they're delicious when the research goes wrong and we grow the fruit.